Hi guys, just like to show you a preview of something I've been working on for quite a while now. This is a Max 7219 FC16 LED matrix display. It's actually two 32 by 8 panels which have been uh, daisy chained together. They've been soldered on the back. And I'm going to make a tutorial for this. This is actually not a tutorial, this is more like a demonstration. Uh, more of a heads up to kind of keep uh, people going until the tutorial comes out. So I've been uh, developing this for Blink IoT, aka Blink 2.0, because Blink 1.0 is no longer supported. In fact, you can't even download the app to the phone anymore. So I've been uh, redeveloping this for the new app, for the new IoT system. Anyway, so what we have here is the Blink Cloud user interface and we also have the device here this is the fritzing diagram so do take a look at this it's also downloadable in the description and i will also put the code as well you can have a look at the code you can have a look at the fritzing diagram although i do recommend that you watch the tutorial in the future because um there's quite a bit that you do need to follow but in any case you're more than welcome to have a look at the code and look at the fritzing diagram and try to work it out yourself until I get the tutorial done. Without further ado, I'd like to just demonstrate what this does. So the idea is you have a phone or you have um, a panel like this and you're able to input some words or phrases and it will output onto this matrix display. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this on. There's a battery on this. So we'll turn it on. And this is a Node MCU uh, ESP8266. And uh, in a few moments, right, it's actually connected to Wi-Fi or to the IoT system. Now I'm going to use the Blink app. Oh, hang on, not this one. That's the old app. So we're supposed to be using the Blink IoT app. So this is the new app. So I've created this app and I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I'm going to type, for example, if I type the word hello and I press send, it will blink hello. Now at the top there is a slider for the amount of time that that message will come up. Now uh, you'll notice it's gone blank, that's okay. So if I type the second line, the second line is welcome. Don't forget to press send and the third line. And, I'm, and for the third line, I'm going to put welcome to the video. All right, so there we go. So that's what we get. And uh, you'll notice if we put this down everything that I type will be on the matrix display. And also, if you have a look on the screen, anything that's on the matrix display will also uh, appear on this interface. And if I want to, I can adjust the delay of each of the words. So just give us a moment. Yeah, so every one second, the string will change. And I can also use a keyboard so desktop keyboard right here. I can use a keyboard and I can type inside the terminal input. So these are terminal boxes, similar to what we have on the phone. So if we just take a look at the phone, that's what we've got. So I've just typed, hello, welcome to the video. And if I type something, let's say for example, um, say for example, if I type Paul is, I can press tab as well to go to the next terminal window. So I can use tab, it's quite convenient. So now it says Paul is king, and I can put uh, A, B, C, one, two, three, and X, Y, Z, something like that. And anything that I input into these uh, terminal boxes will also be pushed on to the Blink app, right there, okay? And just like what I did before, I can just type and whatever I type, it will automatically push. See, just like that. All right, so just uh, just like what we did before, we just type. So my first name and then tab, my second name. Let's try it apostrophe S. Let's see what happens. So that's my name. Ah, it's got the apostrophe right there. Before I could put the apostrophe, but now it seems to be working. So that's excellent. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. 
and then we'll put A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, N, O, P, and so forth. So there we go. So as I've said, I'm going to work on the tutorial. So um, October 2022, I will release the tutorial for this. It'll be full-fledged. I'll go through all the details of everything, and hopefully this will really help you guys to create your own IoT matrix displays. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention, this also uses the uh, Parola library. Did I pronounce that right? P-A-R-O-L-A. -A. People have been uh, screaming for this uh, tutorial, so I'm going to get it out by the end of October, if not sooner. Okay, thank you. That's all I'm going to say. So thank you so much. And uh, keep creating, guys. Keep building. Thank you and goodbye.